Hey everyone, it's Breezy. Welcome back to my channel. How's your day going? Today I have my monthly favorites for the month of July for you. I'm not gonna lie, they're super random favorites. I don't have too many makeup products to share with you. I haven't really been buying or wearing a lot of makeup this past month, so a lot of these are just kind of like lifestyle, really random, but Anyways, if you want to see what my favorites are, definitely keep on watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be alerted every time I upload. And let's just get on into it. First favorite of this month is um, kind of a rediscovered favorite. I haven't used, ew, look at that, like, ooh. I have this like one piece of hair coming down making it look like a balding man. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a rediscovered favorite and it's the Revlon Colorstay 24 hour makeup. Um, I went to Disneyland last weekend um, with my family, actually like three times this month. But I went and I needed a foundation that could kind of like hold up because it was pretty dang toasty in California, not to mention humid. So um, this one is for the normal to dry skin and I just put it on every morning, use this. I think it's a great buildable medium to full coverage foundation. It didn't break up on my skin, it lasted really well, it didn't look too cakey. And overall I was extremely happy with it. I think if you're looking for a drugstore option that is going to be long wearing, long lasting and look great, um, I definitely think you should give this a shot. They have one for normal to dry as well as oily, so got a little something, something for everybody, and the shade range is awesome. Next favorite is going to be um, a perfume, and it is the Marc Jacobs Daisy Rollerball. My friend Rachel does makeup here on YouTube. Um, she was cleaning out, I'm going to put some on, she was cleaning out her makeup, and she pretty much said, here's everything that I'm getting rid of, see if you want anything, and this was in there, so I love it. I think it just smells so like clean and fresh and flory, flora, fla, la, 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 florally. This has definitely been in my bag constantly to freshen up. Just feel really clean and light for summer, so it's a good one. All right, next is a skincare item, and it is the Tarte Pack Your Bags Under Eye Mask Patches. Um, these are really awesome. I struggle with really dry skin, especially really dry under eyes, and sometimes they just need some help. Like, no amount of eye cream is getting the job done. I've been throwing these on every once in a while, um, first thing in the morning or right before I go to bed, and just kind of giving my under eyes some help, and I definitely notice a big difference in my makeup when I do use these. You know, a, my concealer is less likely to settle into fine lines and look really creepy and gross. I think these are such a great alternative. They're a little pricey, but you do get multiple in a pack, so I think it comes with like four or five of them. So it is a pretty good deal, and they work really, really well. Highly recommend those. I always do that. I'm like, hey, check it out. Hey, how are you? Let me tell you something. Wait until if you ever start a YouTube channel, you do not realize the struggles of sitting alone in a room, talking to people that are not clearly physically there, and realizing how annoying you are sometimes and nitpicking yourself at all of your little things. Imagine what everybody else thinks that doesn't know you personally and is sitting here watching that. It's just a weird experience. I'm just gonna rant over, done. The next favorite is actually what I used today to do this look. I did film it, so it will be up. I don't know if it'll be up before, probably be up after this video, but it is the Jaclyn Hill Times Morphe palette. And this is a beautiful palette. Um, to be honest with you, I have the Morphe 35O palette and I haven't exactly been wowed by Morphe, if I'm being perfectly honest. I think they have some really great um, affordable options, especially if you're just starting out in makeup. But like, I've had a lot of their brushes kind of like break on me. Eyeshadows aren't to me always the most blendable, though they are pigmented. But this palette is just on a whole nother level. It's got 35 colors. And it was about, I think after shipping and everything, it ended up being like 40 or 45 bucks, which is a really good deal. It has a great mix of mattes and shimmers in here. You can put together almost any look, anything from super light and natural, all the way up to like full glam, and you got some awesome pops of color. I think my favorite shades in the palette are Pukey, which is this like pukey brown I really, really love. Butter, I think is a really great shade. That's butter right here. All of the shimmers are beautiful. This one down here, I think it's Pool Party, is just like 
come on. I mean, I know it's something you won't probably use on a regular basis, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So those are just some of my favorite shades from the palette. I think if you're looking for something that kind of like does it all, I think this is a great palette. It blends beautifully. The shadows wear fantastically on the eye and I just haven't been able to put it down. So next time it gets in restock, because I believe it's out of stock again, definitely pick it up. It's it's worth it, I think, in my book. So the last items are kind of like lifestyle favorites, I guess you could say. First is this grapefruit candle from Trader Joe's. I'm obsessed with anything grapefruit scented and this just smells absolutely divine. I actually don't really like the taste of grapefruit, but I love the smell of it, if that makes any sense. I really love citrusy scents. And this is the candle that we've had in the room this month, just burning, it smells awesome. I think it was only like five or ten bucks at Trader Joe's. It's one of those like random buys where you're just going down the aisle and you smell it and you're like, ooh, candle, buy it, done. All right, so I do have a piece of clothing and it kind of has to do with workout stuff. So I did pick up this new pair, so I did pick up this new pair of High Rise Wonder Under Pants workout leggings from Lululemon. Now, here's the thing about Lululemon. They are pricey. Don't get me wrong. These pants, I believe, were 88, somewhere around there. They are expensive. They really, truly are. They're even more expensive than like Nike. But I find that Lululemon stands the test of time. They, the longevity of their activewear is just outrageous. I have ones from like five or six years ago that still look brand spanking new. So I think if you slowly but surely want to invest in a workout line that's really going to withstand what you put it through as well as you know you're not going to be replacing it every year I definitely think it's worth it to save up and you know maybe buy one or two pairs of you know pants a year if you can I mean if you can do more than that that's freaking awesome but they are pricey so but I think investing in really good activewear is going to pay off in the long run especially if you know you are in the gym every day. So I love them. They're so comfy. They make your butt look amazing. They suck everything in and sometimes you just gotta spend that money, girl. All right, so the next one is kind of random. It's like a really random product favorite. So when, when we were in driving to San Diego, we stopped off at this like a little organic supermarket slash deli because I really had to pee. And inside it was kind of like a mixture of like a deli with a whole food slash sproutsy vibe. And we were just kind of like, we ordered some food because we were starving and we were waiting for our order to be done and just started roaming the aisles. And over in the kind of like the drug section, they had this um, Liddell Oral Sprays Laboratories PMS Homeopathic Spray. It looks like this. And it's said to relieve PMS systems like irregular periods, pain, cramps, backache, fluid retention, mood swings, anxiety, tension, and irritability. And I think this is super awesome. As someone who struggles with really, really really bad periods. I will take help where I can get it in any form. All you do is about two or three times a day, you just spray this underneath your tongue. And I have noticed a difference. Um, I feel like my fatigue isn't as bad. My cramps haven't been too bad this time. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really get mood swings or irritability, but I do get really high anxiety. And that was a little bit high this month, but I did only start using it, uh, I mean, on maybe the second or third, third day in so um I will definitely be giving this more of a shot and updating you guys if you know over a few months time to see if I notice a difference um it doesn't really taste like anything which is awesome like I said you just spray it under your tongue so this has definitely been a favorite I mean I'm still trying to see the long-term effects of it but like I said I'll take help where I can get it I don't know about you guys but and of course, as I do with every favorites video, I have to include a book. I'm not quite finished with this one yet, but so far it's been really, really good. And it is Into the Water, a novel by Paula Hawkins. Um, this is another kind of like murder mystery suspense books. It's from the New York Times bestselling author of The Girl on the Train, and I loved The Girl on the Train. So if you were a huge fan of that book, I think you'll be a fan of this one. I'll kind of read you what it's about from the fun, um, from the little 
little excerpt in the cover. It says, a single mother turns up dead at the bottom of a river that runs through town. Earlier in the summer, a, vul a vulnerable teenage girl met the same fate. They are not the first women to lost to these dark waters, but their deaths disturb the river and its history, judging up secrets along submerged. Left behind is a lonely 15-year-old girl, parentless and friendless. She now finds herself in the care of her mother's sister, a feel for stranger who has been dragged back into the place she deliberately ran from, a place to which she vowed she'd never return. It's been really good so far. I think if you're into anything, um, if you were, like I said, if you were into The Girl on the Train, if you were into anything from Gillian Flynn, um, if you read The Butterfly Garden that was in my monthly favorites video, video last month, I think it'll be into this too. I've kind of just been on this kick um, with this genre of book lately. So it's really good and I highly recommend you read it possibly before school starts for some of you because I think it will be really good. Okay, last favorite of the month is this bad boy. Yes, I know, obviously someone went a little hardcore at Lulu this month, but I did pick up the yoga mat. This is the five millimeter one in this really pretty sagey green. It makes me think of your heart chakra. Yeah, I was super stupid and left my other yoga mat in the trunk of my car and it warped and was beyond saving. It was so bad. It like shriveled up and like warped in and then it had all these ripples through it. It was just a giant disaster. So since I've been going so often, I kind of wanted, um, I kind of felt like if I was going to buy a new mat, I really wanted to invest in one that was going to last me a very long time. And after reading tons and tons and tons and tons of different reviews, I decided to go with a Lululemon one. Um, it wasn't necessarily a brand thing because I was looking at the Lulu, I was probably looking at three of them. They were all around the same price point, maybe one a little bit more expensive than the other. Honestly, the Lulu I think was the cheapest out of all of them. This one just had great reviews as far as longevity, wear and tear, cleaning. I used it all this week at the gym and I have to say for not putting a towel on and sweating as much as I do, I had a really good experience. So it's definitely been a favorite, an expensive favorite, but a favorite nonetheless. And if you're in the market for a good yoga mat, one that's gonna last you a few years, maybe try picking up this one. Read some reviews, see what you think, but this one had really awesome ones. So I am super happy with it and I love the color. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for my monthly, blah, 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 blah. I cannot talk today. That's gonna be it for my monthly favorites for this month. Sorry that there wasn't a lot of makeup. I know these were super all over the map this month, but my month has been kind of all over the map. So anyways, let me know what you guys have been loving this month. Are there any products I should try? Any products that you want me to try and review? Just that way I can kind of get a feel for what you guys like and want to see, so. Like I said, don't forget to hit that notification bell, subscribe, so you can be alerted every time I upload, and I will see you next time, guys. Have a great day and a good kickoff to August. Yeah.